All right, so this is this is my boy Danny, my business partner. Um, him, Perez, and I were the ones who um, started headlines, and uh, you could tell he's been lost. Um, he actually grew his hair out specifically so I could do this tutorial. Great team player, but man, he could at least trim the beard. <laughs> but but this this is gonna make for a good transformation video. All right, so we start off with the five. This is gonna create our base. We don't want to go too high. We want to pay attention to the shape of his head. Um, Especially around, you know, anywhere above the occipital bone or above the ridge. You could you could follow along with the color code um, chart on the bottom left corner. You can see this yellow guard is a number five or sixteen millimeter. I'm wearing the hair because I want to connect it now to the number five. I'm taking slanted parts. And all we're doing is connecting it with the scissors. And I'm combing down because I want to leave some, I want to make sure I'm leaving that length um, above the occipital bone. I'm just doing some scissor over comb just to get it, just to fin give it a nice finish. I'm really enjoying. Um, cutting with scissors now man like I'm getting I feel like I'm getting better and better at it um, I am starting to implement some of the tips that I've learned over the fa past um, you know few months really honing in on my scissor skills um, I'm starting to implement that in my classes too kind of just giving giving little tips here and there but my classes are mainly on 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 um, you know what we do here mostly in the states like what I've been doing for a very long time create a good successful career from it and uh, also implementing now some hairstyling and stuff and some some scissor work something that we really didn't need to, to even care about um, as far as the type of barbershop where I would work at the urban style you know shop where people wanted you know sharp lines and blurry fades so here we have our number two guard kind of just coming off um, the curvature of his head right we have number three so now I'm taking a parting from the apex of his head down and what I'm trying to do is connect this um, this hair length while still keeping a square shape you know what I mean like I don't I don't want to go up into the crown area We want to maintain this this length because he has he has a lot of grays, and grays tend to be very coarse. So what happens with with coarse hair is the moment you cut it too short, this wants to sprout out. It's very hard to control. This is a tip that I kind of developed myself from, um, just to smoothing it down um, some. I go with the grain using the number four guard here, and you can see it lays it down really nicely without taking off too much length. And then we'll go, go against the grade to connect it all. All right, Danny's moving a lot. Doing the same thing on the other side. with the grain then coming back against the grain to connect it and you can see that there's hair that wants to lay on the top and the head, this hair that isn't. We're combing down um, from like a, a mid part on the top of the head, we're combing all that hair down and we're just gonna cut the length to the desired length and then we'll do the other side to match it. You see now it's laying down nicely on top of his head. I 
Again, a mid part on the top of his head. We're using the length that was created in the calic area by cutting it. Um, when we cut it, remember when we cut it to connect it to the back to make sure it had a squared shape? That cut some of the length of that calic area. So that's our guideline, cutting straight into the front of his head or the fringe area, if that makes any sense. And you can see the difference right there. You can see our guideline. When I pull the hair up, there's our guideline. The rest of it comes off. That guideline again was created when we were when we combed down the calic area to connect it to the back to make sure it still had that that squared shape. You guys can see how nice it's starting to lay. In the calic area it's not sprouting up. And again, with this texture of hair, man, with this type of hair, it's very easy to um, to lose control of this hair. Checking hair lengths now, seeing if they match up. It's not looking like it. Now, when you do this, you don't want to pull too tight because what happens is you might cause some inconsistent lengths because you start to pull the scalp, the scalp stretches, and then you get an inconsistent length, right? Here, I'm kind of point cutting. I don't want to necessarily connect the fringe to the rest of the hair. I just want to soften the fringe up a little bit so that it looks like it's connected. Remember, just like fading hair, when I teach you guys how to fade and stuff, it's all about creating the illusion, right? Um, sometimes we stick to the system way too much and we think everything needs to be connected and you don't create the illusion that's, that's necessary to make it a great haircut. You see how nice it's starting to lay? And although it's disconnected, this haircut, when we comb it back, it looks like everything is connected, right? Alright, so here, that was some secret sauce. Some secret sauce that's not out yet. Putting the hair, we're, we're putting it into the hair just to uh, give it a little bit more control while we're blow drying. And all we're doing is we're trying to dry it, especially from the roots. You see I'm parting it and I'm making sure I, I focus on the roots. Get that dry first. Jay hits on the beat. You can see that product gave it a lot of volume, a lot of texture. At least I think so. A little bit of powder. We're cocktailing the products, and you can see how nice it's starting to look. A lot of texture, a lot of volume. All right, so now we'll move on to the beard, and look at that front profile of the haircut. I think it looks dope. I don't know what you got. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty dope. The front profile. And what I mean by front profile is just by staring at, at him, you know, obviously face first, face forward. All right, so I'm lowering it down with a one and a half guard with the grain so that we can we can try to keep as much um, density as possible. Obviously, the mustache area is the most coarse area, so we're just cutting that down some. I'm crazy and I'm OCD, so I guess I've seen some imperfections. So I guess I went back to fix it. I'll do that a lot. And this is this is like me in the barbershop. I go, I'm all over the place in the barbershop. I can't I can't cut like that necessarily in my videos, my tutorials, because I'll just confuse the hell out of you guys. But I guess Fonz wanted to keep that part. <laughs> right, so now we're lining him up. Danny moved again. We gotta get Danny to stop moving. I'm using the slimline allies. You don't need the hardest line on this type of haircut, right? So my, my LIs are perfect for this type of haircut. It's it's still a defined line, but it's not as sharp, as hard of a line as if I was to use my TI liners, right?
you guys sometimes like if you see hair around people's ears clean that up like you don't have to bring it up publicly some people are embarrassed by it or whatever i just do it i just clean it up and you'll find clients appreciate it now we're using the 245 shave gel i'm gonna comb it into the beard and we're gonna start to define the line a little bit more with uh not necessarily define the line just getting a closer shape so it lasts longer because i don't recreate shape right I think now the haircut's really starting to come together. It has that professional look, in my opinion, while still maintaining a, um, like a like a young, edgy look. Um, I'm going to add some color, some, some gray coverage. It's not going to be this dark, guys. We're going to wash it out. You'll see at the end of the video what it looks like. But um, and, and here's what I like about using a comb to apply the product. It's, it's gray coverage, right? So there's still gonna be grays. It's gonna look natural. It's not gonna look like 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 vegan was applied. Um, and although when you wash it out, a lot of this color disappears, every time he comes in, when you apply it little by little, it darkens up a little bit more, but it's done so in a natural way. a haircut man and you guys can see a lot of that color washed out it looks very natural the color hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial hope you guys learned something smash that like button comment below let me know what you guys thought i appreciate you guys